Got him right there. Did you guys see that thing? It was right under the ice. There we go. There we go. Look at that guy, man, to start the day off. Right there. Wow, dude. That is what we're after. Big walleyes, big pike, big eel pout. Wow, dude. A oh, little bit chillier out today. Can you guys see all right? What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Wasted my morning away fishing areas that did not have fish going on an absolute wild goose chase. But it's kind of early afternoon right now, kind of midday-ish. And uh, we're going to give it the good old fashioned. Just made a long walk out to a big weed bed on a big lake. Now, when you're in weed bed situations, you're fishing for walleyes, you're fishing for pike, you're fishing for crappies, perch, bluegills, bass, anything could be in the weed edge. And that's a lot of times why we like to fish these areas, and they're specifically very good early ice. So we're set up pretty shallow. Um, I've just kind of drilled a series of holes to get us on the outside edge, and we're going to run the dead stick presentation in one hole and we're going to run a jigging spoon jigging bait in the other hole and we're going to see what happens now ideally hopefully we catch a bunch of nice walleyes but realistically um if we get three four nice walleyes this evening this afternoon um uh, that is a win anytime you're around weeds pike are probably on the menu so you could probably anticipate i would assume anyways we'll deal with some of those but um, should be kind of a fun afternoon just doing some junk fishing I kind of call this you set up on a good spot You just give it the good old-fashioned sit and you see what happens. So stay tuned. We're gonna get a jigging spoon going on Maybe that guy right there. We'll send our dead stick down and uh, we'll get the we'll get the hummingbird mega live going too So you guys can see that but some good old-fashioned early ice weed fishing Right there. It's feeling very heavy. All right, guys, what do we got? Oh my goodness, dude, no way. No way. Can you guys see this? Oh, he's gonna go. Oh. All right, guys, first fish of the day is a big nasty eel pellet, a burbot. I was like, what is going on? This is such a bizarre fight. I can't tell if... Yep, dang it, I got that other line. Got my dead stick line. He's not far down. He's not too far down here. I can almost, I can see him a little bit. I can't believe that, dude. My burbot during the day luck has been crazy the last couple years. Not a super common deal. And man, they pull hard. Oh, here we go. Look at that thing. Oh. I don't like how it's hooked on that dead stick. Come on. Come on. Oh, here he is. Oh, he's a nice, real fat one too. Wow, dude. Come here. These things getting them up the hole. It's always just a different deal. Did that line come off? Nice, nice, nice. Wow, I can't believe that fish just like came up to the hole. And now he's just on a mission here. Come on. This is almost more exciting than a walleye. Just kind of getting rocking and rolling. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to go back down the hole. <laughs> getting these things up through the hole is just always a different deal. Come here, buddy. This is where having a long ice route is so nice. Because they're just so forgiving. Oh, here he is. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. No, 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 no. Dude, can you believe that? First fish of the day is a burbot and a good one. Gosh, he's all over the place. All right, this is going to be it. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, oh, 
just gonna have to go in and wrangle them on out I think is gonna be what's gonna have to be done here Wow the big mark on the graph just came up real slow you guys could probably kind of see me playing with them come here buddy come here we're gonna get you we're gonna get you oh I just I can't lift them any farther all right right here there we go there we go look at that guy man to start the day off how about that big gnarly verbit to get the day going hooked right in the cheek here first one of the year for me and uh it's pretty early to be getting a, a good burbot out of the way look at these and this is going to be the worst hold ever because you can just never hold these things right look at that dude <laughs> Is that cool or is that cool to start the day like that? Man, we'll try to get you guys a little look at them here. Look at that. Wow, dude. What a fish. All pretty and leoparded up. And they are unbelievably cool. We're going to let that guy go. Come here, buddy. And they just never like to sit quite straight. Look at that, dude. And they just fill that ice hole. Wow. Was that cool? <laughs> <laughs> fish number one big old burbot that is cool right there got just a tanglement of everything at this point in here fish came on just a acme rattle master fish in clear water today so a little purple color on there dangle it right in his face tip with a minnow head middle of the day you don't see that a ton it seems like at first ice though there is some shallow water burbot opportunity because I've done this a few years in a row now. Never really targeting them. They just kind of show up. But we'll get lines back down, see if we can't catch a walleye, a pike, a perch, who knows what. That was an interesting way to start, though. Got him right there. Did you guys see that thing? It was right under the ice. Oh my goodness, dude. It's a nice walleye. Oh my goodness, dude. It's a really nice walleye. He's like right there though. I just saw him make a run right by the hole. Did you guys see how high that fish came in? Oh my, no. Did he get stuck in something? I feel like he ran into the weeds. Or am I just caught on the ice here again? Oh, we're caught on the ice a little bit. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, we got him off. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he just went for like a run right away and dug me right into the ice. He's doing it again here. There we go. Where is this guy at, man? I'm sitting right around all these weeds. I feel like he got me stuck in the weeds. No, this isn't good. He's still on. Dude, what is going on right now? It's a big fish. He's got me stuck in something, though. Let's see if he takes some line. Sometimes... Man, this isn't good. Okay, okay. It was like he was stuck up under the ice. Oh, there was stressful. Look at this, here he is. I can't believe that, dude. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, dude, we got him. Can you guys believe that fight? You guys see how high that thing came up in under the ice? He definitely ran me into some weeds. I thought it was he was like hooked up under the ice. Wow, dude. A couple of just bizarre fish catches. Burbit. And then a walleye just way up off the bottom. That gets you stuck in a big clump of weeds. How are you going to... I mean, I'm like speechless right now. That just went down like that and I still caught the fish somehow. Same spoon as before. Look at that guy, man. Wow, is that ever a nice fish right there? Big old early season 
shallow water walleye. Now that's what we need to catch more of right there. More of these big guys way up in shallow water. That is 100% what we're after right there. Big old early season walleye. So let's let that guy go. Not a ton of numbers today yet anyways, but you know, it's just kind of that early afternoon period fishing into the evening. And that's how you want to fill a ice hole right there. There she goes. See you later, big white tip. Was that ever bizarre or what? Saw the fish, I mean, it's probably only three feet below the ice. Came in, popped the bait, set the hook. He took off a little bit, and it was like he got stuck in a big patch of weeds or something right there. You know, a six pound on, I didn't want to like really horse him a ton, but just kind of let him swim around, open the bail, let him swim off a little bit, and then kept pulling on him. It was like he finally came out of that, but. Wow, that was cool. I'm like speechless right now. That just all happened like that. Right there. Wow, dude. <laughs> oh man, just let that wall I go. Just let that wall I go. No. Oh, we still got him. Oh, it's a nice pike. It's a really nice pike. He's right at the hole here. He's got my other thing stuck on him, though. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Knew that was coming. Just don't get around the live pole here, buddy. I just got a feeling he's going for one more here. Nope, nope, nope. There he is. There. Oh, yep. He's going to do one more. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we're not catching a lot of fish, but when we're setting the hook, they're good fish. We have gone for the the northern Minnesota trifecta here. Pike walleye eel pout. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He's a nice fish. We'll take him. He's got that hook just right on the outside of his mouth, though. Oh, got him. <laughs> Look at that guy. We'll take him. I just went to a real big, shiny, flashy spoon I can fish way up high in the water column, which is a... Uh, Good tip if you have fish flying around up high. That is the Acme. Oh man, we got him, almost got him popped off here. I always forget what this spoon's even called. Sidewinder, kind of an old school spoon, been around for an absolute eternity. It's kind of a really good sized, bigger, aggressive style of flutter spoon. Where's my players at? Got him popped off. Nice pike though. They're, pike when they get to be this size, it start getting to be fun on the ice rod. And they pull hard, fight hard. Now we have caught a 30 inch pike, a big burbot, and a big walleye. <laughs> All in the, you know, I mean, I guess we haven't been fishing for a super long time. Hour and a half kind of this afternoon here. Good sign to come, hopefully, that we might set the hook a few more times this afternoon and have it be a nice, good sized fish. How are you going to beat that? Three fish jigging, pike, burbot, walleye. All good sized fish. Unbelievable. But uh, whenever you have fish flying around high in the water column, you know, like we said in the intro, we're just kind of fishing for any kind of big fish that might be on this weed edge. That's like a one fifth ounce, um, that Acme Sidewinder. See how it's kind of cupped like that? It makes it really kind of get sideways and do a lot of like this on the way down, which we're fishing relatively clear water today. And uh, it's good to have a spoon that draws a lot of attention from a long ways when you're fishing high in the water column. So this is a good one to kind of flashes and darts and obviously we'll get pounded by anything feeding up high. So when you have a situation like this where you're fishing a shallow weed edge, it's, we're in like eight feet of water here, eight, nine feet, and you can see all the bait down there. So you can kind of imagine a fish swimming through and if you're like, if you're like down here in them like this, just like doing this with your spoon, like right in the perch right there, it looks very much like all the other things down there. So a lot of times it seems like, you know, you bring your bait up here, you know, three, four, five feet under the ice and seven, eight feet of water. And you kind of snap it around a lot more, get it kind of jumping and darting around. It's so high that it's almost out of view of the transducer, the live transducer right now, but get it kind of hopping and snapping around like this. And a lot of times that's something that kind of stands out to a bigger fish coming through.
Oh, he's flying towards it. Got him right there. Fish on. Come on, be right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Getting to be that right time of night. And there we go, just like that. And there's definitely two of them down there right now. Come on, get it. They came in in a pair. They came in in that pair, dude. Nice walleye right there. That is 100% what we're after. That other one's still working that bait on the graph right now. It's about 4.15 right now. Sun just kind of hit that tree line. And with any luck, maybe we'll be get a few of these guys. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Got them popped out. Rattling, Castmaster, and Purple. Just a destroyer of a bait. We'll see if we can give you guys some light from this way. All that fish works, that spoon. Scoop them up. These are like my absolute favorite spoon through the ice. That other one did not bite. Those fish circled in, darted out, and then came back. Look at that. That is what we're after right there. Sundown, walleyes on the jig rod. Been a fun day. If we can end with a few of these guys, how are you going to beat it, man? Let's let that guy go. Because hopefully we can make some quick work of a few of these guys today. Nice 17, 18 incher. Oh, that feels good, man. It's been a little bit of a sit. You know, there's always kind of like this window where it's like all of a sudden the pike, the pike kind of shut down. And you hope the walleyes come in just right at the end. And there was definitely a couple of them right there. Oh yeah, he just ate it. Looks like it's probably a nice walleye. Looks like it's probably a nice walleye. He's just taking line right now. All right, buddy, prime time, prime time. Let's get it done. Got him. Dude, this could be a really nice walleye. This could be what we're looking for here. Come on, look at that thing go. It's just heavy right now. I don't think it's a pike. I think we're gonna get a big walleye here at the end of the day. Come on, come on. It's definitely gonna be a good walleye. Oh yeah, it's a real nice walleye. Oh, dude, what a day. What a day. Come here, buddy. Oh, we got a ways to go yet. He's so froggy. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's see if I can switch this up a little bit. It's so hard to see looking at that light. I don't know if that's better for you guys or not. <laughs> oh man. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude, it's a stud. It's a stud. Oh, he's barely hooked too. He's just right in the corner. Oh, oh, I get so nervous sometimes. Come on, come on. This is the window we've been waiting all day for. Oh, come here, come here, nice and easy. Oh, oh my gosh, we had him right there. Come here, buddy. We got you. <laughs> we got you. Look at that walleye, dude. Wow. Is that ever what we're after right there? And I was right. He was just hooked right on the outside of the mouth. Look at that fish, man. That is what we're after. Big walleyes, big pike, big eel pout. Wow, dude. What a day. And you guys got to see that go down on the Mega Live. He came up and just whacked that dead stick. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Unbelievable. That is so cool. Well, not sure how good the lighting is, but we'll take it. That's as good as it gets right there. Let's let that guy go. What a way to end a cool day out here on first ice. And look at how this guy fills that hole, man. He's gonna be so angry going back. <laughs> and there's the big wall of water. Yes, dude. Oh man, that is as cool as it gets right there. I could be done right now and be perfectly happy. But maybe we'll just give it like five more minutes and then we'll go get some food as we've been living off two waters and one cliff bar all day today. After my wild goose chase this morning where I was going for a really big fish in a lake that I know doesn't have hardly any of them in, I was like, felt like we weren't gonna get it done. 
jumped lakes, made a long walk out to a weed bed this afternoon. What a fun outing. Oh my goodness, dude. It's gonna be, it's gonna really gonna be another good one. I was literally just about to like be done. I was bringing my gloves up. It's, it's not really running like a pike. It's definitely running like a good walleye. I was just <laughs> trying to dry my gloves, my wool gloves out in front of the heater because I got such a long walk back. Oh, we lost the chesty. Oh my goodness, dude, it's another big walleye. Look at this, man. Are we having fun? Are we having fun? I don't know what else there is to say. Caught a few, three kind of stud walleyes this evening, afternoon into evening, and they're in here right now. But you know what? I'm sure we could probably get a few more, but that is as good as it gets. And we're gonna end it on a high note because I got such a long walk back. But wow, dude, what a fish, what a day, what an evening. What a fun bite and to do it all, watch it right off the Hummingbird Mega Live in such shallow water. Doesn't get any better than that right there. Let's let you go. Oh, play nice for me. Play nice for me. Look at that. That's how you know it's a good one right there when they're filling holes like that. Oh, well that's it. That's today's video. We're four and a half minutes since that last one when I caught, but we're gonna end it right there. It's just kind of getting to the prime time hour. I'm sure I could catch more. Got to pack a lot of stuff down, edit this whole video tonight, and do it all again tomorrow. But appreciate you guys watching this one. If you guys like this channel, if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.